What's going on guys, Simply Pipes here, and whatever happened to the Samsung Galaxy Fold? If you guys hearing some music in the background, it's like a barbecue going on, so I apologize for that if you guys hearing any music. But anyway, the CEO, the Samsung CEO is calling the Galaxy Fold an embarrassment. And honestly, it all started out with this, if you guys have been living under a rock, the Galaxy Fold is a hybrid between a smartphone and a tablet, but it's like combined. So you can fold it into a phone and then you can unfold it as a tablet. The idea is genius. I would love to get my hands on it, but it costs starting from nineteen hundred and eighty dollars, depending on your region here. You can get your very own Galaxy Fold start two thousand dollars, which is just insane. I would have loved to unbox it, but I probably wouldn't even get it. Two thousand dollars is an arm and a leg for me, but I would have loved to see it in the store and play around with it, but Samsung is having some trouble um, in terms of durability and the screen is flickering and it's just not its not durable enough. It's not going to last long to justify that $2,000 price tag. And like I said, it did start out with uh, the review units been sent out, right? So you have Marquez Brown Lee, you had Casey Nastad, you had... Uh, you know, a couple of uh, media stream outlets, you had people who was reviewing the phone early because the phone was coming out very, very soon. And then after a while, like two days, not even, I think it was like only one day of using the Galaxy Fold, the screen just started to give up. Like it was one side working and the other side wasn't working. Then it was like the, the, the screen protector, you can't peel that it will mess up the screen it was just a uh, it was like a big failure on Samsung's uh, part but now they having some trouble to figure out what can they do to avoid that issue um, because they're gonna lose a lot of money if if they just drop that product the way how it was like if nobody didn't say anything about it and people complain about it after the fact when Samsung dropped the fold let's say for example it would have been a huge problem. It would have probably been a recall to it, and it just would have been a mess. But right now, the Galaxy Fold, it's not, I would say Samsung is gonna cancel it. I think they're gonna scrap that idea. They're gonna probably still work on it, but I think at this point, it may as well just be canceled at this point. Now, we do have the Galaxy Note 10 coming out. Well, next month is the event, the unpacked event. I wish I can go, but chances of me going is slim. I do live in New York, and the event is in New York, but then you got to get a ticket. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not. I would love to go to, like, a an Apple event, Samsung event, like a phone reveal event. That would be really cool to vlog about and just seeing all the YouTubers and, I don't know, seeing the phone in action. That would be really cool, but it is what it is. But the Unpacked event is next month in August, and I'm excited to see the Note 10, honestly, and the Note 10 Plus. So you got to have two Note 10s. And rumors are claiming that the Note 10 will cost at a thousand dollars, and then the the Note 10 Plus is going to cost one thousand two hundred dollars, or even thirteen hundred. Now it is expensive, but it's not too bad because if you look at the S10, that costs nine hundred dollars, and the S10 Plus costs a thousand. So it's like you're better off buying the Note 10. You know, and more bang for your buck. You got the S Pen. So they have a lot going on in their plate. So I think they're going to just scrap the the Note for it's good to see it, but I don't think the technology is there yet. The technology is not really there yet. Like we there, but we need that. We need to take a couple of more steps forward, but we're not there just yet. We're not at the finish line yet to get to the fold. And I would love to see the day that Apple would make an, an iPhone fold into, you know what I mean, an iPad. Like that would be really cool. That's one thing I like about Samsung. They're very, very innovative. And Samsung just like to go all out, and I really do appreciate that. But sometimes you gotta sit down and and you gotta make sure is this really gonna work? Like, is it possible to do it? Now it is possible, but is it gonna work out in the long run? Now, yeah, and that's what the, and that was the main problem with the Galaxy Fold. But let me know down in the comments down below. Did you pre-order the Galaxy Fold? Now at this point, the pre-order has been canceled. And I don't know what Samsung is going to do, but like I said, I think they're going to cancel it, maybe postpone it to a different day, and they might call it the, the Fold 2 or something else. Would you spend $2,000 on the Galaxy Fold, like a, re, a redesign or updated version, something that's new? Would you Are you willing to fall into that trap again? Let me know down in the comments. Yes, no. I think $2,000 for a phone is a little bit 
it's a little bit too savage. I mean, I know the phones are a thousand dollars, and if you could pick up an iPad, three hundred and thirty dollar iPad, and still be cheaper than the fold, and you get a much more superior experience. But I think that's the future. I think this is the future of technology, and I'm excited. I'm a I'm a tech enthusiast. I love seeing new tech. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. And other than that, your boy Pops, and I catch you guys on my next video. Man, I gotta work on like five more videos because I am going away to Rochester, New York. Visit some family. I'm gonna be away for 4th of July, so I'm gonna, gotta make these videos, man. I'm gonna be working overtime tonight. Peace.